Thank you for downloading SignMyPad. We at Oddtrieve have put together this little demo video to show you exactly how you can use SignMyPad in your everyday life. SignMyPad is a PDF signature application, which means you can take PDFs from your email or your Dropbox, add a signature, and then send them back out to both your email and your Dropbox. I'm going to be using the iPad simulator here, so some of the buttons may not look the exact way as it does on your iPad, but the idea is still there. So we're going to go ahead and open up Sign My Pad. Now you see here there's nothing in this list. That's because we don't have any PDFs in here. You can bring one in from your email by clicking on it and using the Open In button. Or you can download a PDF from the internet using the Download button found here. I'm going to go ahead and put in a PDF URL. This PDF will always exist at www.autrieve.com slash demo PDF dot PDF. You can type in any URL you'd like as long as it ends with dot PDF. When you click download, it will download to the PDF list. Now you see we have a PDF here in, the, uh, in our list. Also in the PDF list is the instructions page. If you click here, you'll get the list of the directions on how to use sign my pad. We click on our PDF and you can see the main PDF window. <laughs> this only shows pages, it shows one page at a time. So down in the bottom we have previous and next page. If you click PDF list, anything you change or done will be undone and you'll go back to the list as is. Up top we have the add and menu button. The Add button allows us to add text, signature, checkbox, a radio button, or the date. So I'm going to add text. We get our little window, and I will write, hello world, and click done. You can then tap and drag the text wherever you'd like it on the PDF. If you tap once on it, you'll get the resize slider. You can make it bigger or smaller. If you double tap on it, you'll get the option to delete the element. Let's go ahead and add a checkbox. A checkbox will give you a little X to fill into a box. Radio button is a little circle. And the date will always format to today's date. Now let's go ahead and add a signature. In the signature field, the bottom half of the window, which is a white box, will allow you to draw your signature using your finger or a stylus. You can either choose black or blue ink. Click done and it will appear in your PDF. When you're done writing on your PDF, click the menu button. You have two options, save and save as. Save will save the PDF overwriting the original blank PDF. Save as will allow you to enter in a file name for what you want. In this case, we're going to call it demo2. In either case, once it's saved, you'll see a PDF save successful window. You'll get a preview of your PDF. Here's our edits. And you'll have four options in the upper right corner. Print, which will send to AirPrint if you have a AirPrint compatible printer. Send to, which will allow you to take the PDF and send it to another application on your iPad that can read PDFs, such as iBooks. Dropbox, if you have your Dropbox linked up, you can uh, save this PDF and it will automatically send back to your Dropbox. Or email and you will create a new email with the PDF attached. You can then type in who you want to send it to and just click send. If you go back to the list, since we did save as, you'll see the original PDF and also our new demo, our new demo PDF that we've already drawn on. Once a PDF is saved, the elements cannot be moved or changed. So that's why we say to use the Save As button so you can keep a master copy and save multiple versions of it afterwards with different signatures. 
We hope this helps you, and if you have any questions, please email us at info at or follow us on Twitter at sign Autrieve. Thank you very much.